now we are ready for the VI relationship for the PMOS transistor. Here is the 2D layout for the PMOS transistor as we described it before. And note that the bulk or the body is made of n-type material and it must be connected to the highest voltage in the circuit. Remember that we are saying this is CMOS technology. That means we will develop the NMOS and the PMOS transistors on the same wafer. We will make sure that the body is connected to the highest voltage in the circuit. Remember that the body is an n-type material, but we have to create a B-channel between the source and the drain in order for the current to conduct. Since the bulk is made of n-type material, the gate need to be more negative than the source. And we're going to stress more negative. That means VGS is negative. The gate need to be more negative than the source. Why? Then the gate will attract positive charges. So as you can see in the animation now, as we attract the positive charges, the channel is created. And as we said that most of these positive charges will come from the source. If VGS is more negative than some threshold voltage, remember more negative. That means bigger value but negative. Then a B channel is created from the drain to the source. As you can see in the diagram here, once the channel is created, then the current can flow from the source to the drain. So the idea here, or what we stress in here, is VGS has to be more negative than some threshold voltage. Clearly, the threshold voltage in BMOS transistors is negative. So that means V threshold is less than zero. The threshold voltage is a function of VSB, which is the voltage between the source to the body and some fabrication process parameters. So the threshold voltage is given as VTH will equal to VTH0 plus gamma times the square root of the absolute value of 2 phi F plus VSP minus the square root of the absolute value of 2 phi F, where the threshold voltage VTH0 gamma phi and VSP are negative values. So they are all negative values. That is very important thing you have to watch out for. Another important observation, if Vs equals to Vb, if the source and the body are connected together, that means Vsb is zero, then the threshold voltage Vth equals to Vth zero. Basically, VTH0 is the threshold voltage at which the source and the body are connected together. If the source and the body are not connected together, the threshold voltage will be more negative. Because gamma is a negative parameter, then the overall threshold voltage will be more negative when VSP is non-zero. Once we created the channel, then the transistor will conduct similar to the NMOS transistor. So we're going to have two regions, the triad region and the saturation region. Let's look at the triad region. In the triad region, first of all, the current will flow from the source to the drain because the source has higher voltage. VDS has to be non-zero. In fact, that the voltage from the source has to be higher than the voltage of the drain. So let's look at the diagram here and what we do is we created the channel that means VGS is more negative and we are going to make a voltage between the source to the drain such that the voltage at the source is bigger than the voltage at the drain. Then the positive charges will flow from the source to the drain and the current enters the source and leaves the drain. So if VDS is less negative than VGS. Then the transistor is in the linear region or the triad region. Under this condition, the transistor is in the linear region or the triad region. Then the drain current relationship is given as follow. ID, which is the current leaving the drain, will equal to mu 
P C O X W over L times VGS minus the threshold voltage times VDS minus one half VDS squared. A very important note again, note that the current will flow from the source to the drain. We're going to keep stressing that. That means the current leaves the drain in the PMOS transistor. In the deep triad region, when the magnitude of VDS is small, the ID versus VDS relationship is linear. If we plot ID versus VDS, we're going to have similar effect as we did in the NMOS transistor. The only difference is for negative values of VDS, the current will conduct. And as you see in the graph here, that we will have similar effect, however, for negative values in VDS. Then the PMOS transistor may be used as a voltage controlled resistor as well we're going to call it our own so whether it is an NMOS or whether it is a PMOS in the deep triad region they can be acting as voltage controlled resistors where our own is equal to VDS over ID and that will equal to 1 over mu P C O X W over L times the absolute value of VGS minus the threshold voltage. So the second region for the PMOS transistor is the saturation region. If we increase VDS to become more negative, if VDS is increased to be more negative, remember increased in value, then VGS minus V threshold, then the whole channel is consumed by the drains current and the current becomes saturated so we are in the saturation region because we have used the whole channel similar to the case that we did in the NMOS transistor then the drains current becomes as follow ID will equal to one half mu P times COX times W over L times VGS minus the threshold voltage squared and keep in mind that VGS minus the threshold voltage is a negative value when you square it becomes positive value this equation is true which is the saturation region if VGS is more negative than the threshold voltage that means the transistor is on and VDS is more negative bigger in value but negative than VGS minus the threshold voltage which is the overdrive voltage for this device if these two conditions are true then you can use this saturation equation you can also include the channel modulation effect because what happened as in the NMOS transistor if you start to make VDS more negative then the effective length of the channel becomes smaller so by including the channel modulation effect we can say that ID will equal to one half mu P C O X W over L times VGS minus V threshold voltage quantity squared times one plus lambda times VDS and over here we have to stress that lambda for the P transistor is negative value so the channel modulation effect for the PMOS transistor is negative value. So if you look at the graph for different values of VGS, you start to see that by making VDS more negative, the current ID start to increase until you hit saturation. And once you hit saturation, then the channel modulation effect start to take over. That means the current will increase linearly at a different slope by increasing VDS.